Hello, welcome to 12 Crafts of Christmas. My name is Kim, I'm from craftbuggy.com, and today I'm gonna show you how to make these really fun little Christmas holiday trays. And I'm gonna show you everything from painting it start to, start it, uh, start to finish, as well as putting a clear coat on and um, putting the decals and layering everything. So this is a really fun craft. I really enjoy doing it. Plus it makes a really good gift if you wanted to put some cookies in there and give it to a neighbor or a friend or a family member. So anyway, they make great gifts plus really good decor and I can't wait to show you how to do them. So for this project, you're gonna need a tray of some kind. So I got this galvanized tray at Hobby Lobby. This is an eight by eight and um, they're very inexpensive. Plus they have sales all the time. So that's typically where I tend to get these. And then I'm gonna spray paint this white. So if you have a white one already, great. If not, I'm gonna be using this white bonding primer. I just, I like the way it goes on. Plus I'm gonna do a clear coat over that. And then for the inside, I'm gonna have a layered vinyl. So the red is gonna go on bottom and then the, the silver is gonna go right on top. And so it's hard to visualize right now, but this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. So I'll show you how I layer my vinyl. I'm gonna be using the Silhouette transfer tape. I reuse it a lot, so I'll use a clean piece for this, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I just like that it has grid lines, it's really easy to use. Um, but anyway, that is actually all you're gonna need. So I will go ahead, I'm gonna meet you outside and we're gonna start spray painting our tray here. I'm gonna start with spray painting this tray with this bonding primer, it's white. And then I'm just gonna do short, even strokes. So now that I have my tray spray painted and I have the clear top coat on there, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. And then I kind of got my decals set up a little bit. So this is the bottom part of the text and the antlers that I did the offset on. And so uh, what I did was I taped them to my table so that it stabilizes everything. And then I have my text on the transfer tape ready to go. So what I like to do is, I'll show you. I like to start small. I don't like to do huge sections at a time. So I take my transfer paper and you can see through it, which is nice. And I just set it right where I want it to be, right here, and then push down. And then, whoops, be careful when you're peeling up or you'll peel up the other guy, <laughs> like I just did. There we go. And just like that, and I do that with everything. So I'll show you again here. Just place it dead center. Push it down. and lift. All right, now I have all the designs put together. So now I just need to transfer everything into my tin. So I'll show you just how to do that. So this is the trickier part of everything. So I have everything, this is everything is the sticky side up right now. And so you kind of have to decide where you want your text and the antlers. And so I have my print placed roughly where I want them. So what I'm gonna do now is very carefully, flip them over and then line everything up and stick them down. And now you have this really fun Christmassy tray. I love how this turned out. My little silver dot on the eye grew wings and flew away somewhere. So that's okay, I'll just print off another one. But now you kind of know how to layer text and how to put everything onto a surface and it's very simple and you can customize these any way you want. They just make such fun little gifts. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just so excited about this. I'll give you another look at everything.
I just think this turned out so good. I was really not sure about the red behind the silver, but I'm just, I love it. I'm just, I'm so happy with it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, fe please feel free to comment below. I'll definitely get back to you. You can also reach out to me via craftbuggy.com or social media. I have all my information listed in the description below. And this concludes craft eight of 12 crafts of Christmas. So we have quite a few more to go and I look forward to sharing those with you. And if you like this video, you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate all of you who are watching and subscribing. It means the world to me. So thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you for the next craft. <laughs>